Tio Twaki saying, if I send a donation, can it be added to a YouTube video? I'd like to have my girlfriend hear it when I watch the video on YouTube. <laughs> That's a funny request. Um, but I, I guess I'd consider it. It has London. to be like Next family time friendly. You come to England, you should visit Stafford. Also, do you want to oh. play a Stafford against me? I sent you a challenge on Liches. Ooh. My username is Ternos. I have 257 pending challenges. Wait, I played followers several times before. I'll play E4 again. I may have played E4 last time. Hard to remember. Let's see what followers is up to. I could play Ponziani. Oh, let's play. I feel inspired from the last game. I'm going to try and get a Belgrade Gambit, which happens after knight f6, d4 takes, and then, then knight d5. Okay, so it looks like we're going to go into a, a Belgrade. Haven't played this in ages. This is main starting position. So rather than recapturing the pawn, this would be a four knight scotch. I go for a slightly more confusing position. Okay, bishop c5 I know is a playable move. Probably one of the more natural moves. I think I can play bishop g5 here. This is one of the points. Whoa, it's Tio Twaki. Hi, Maria. The first don't oh, think hey. I would have survived the past year in lockdown without you, let alone. Enjoy it this much. I love you, Bunna. Oh, also that's so thanks, sweet. Eric. <laughs> oh, shout out to Maria. That's so kind. Now, I guess I'll have to put this video on YouTube now. <laughs> This better turn into a, a fun game. Oh, thank, thank you, Tio Twaki. A very kind donation. And thanks to Maria for keeping Tio Twaki company. That was really sweet. Got some hearts in the chat. Can I... I take... Look at this. Oh, chat is so... So loving right now. Good morning. Hearts for Maria. Good morning to DQ. Okay, so I think already it's an opening success. Um even though I'm still down a pawn. Kingside structure is damaged. For the YouTube video. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh thanks M what is his name? Ambequeef. Um, yeah, Twitch, Twitch chat being a nice role model for, for the YouTube people. Okay. So I won back the pawn. Yeah. I'm not sure what black should have done there. Maybe like Bishop, Bishop E6 keeping the pawn defended, but yeah, now life is very good. I want to play F4. A few different approaches in this position, depending what black does. C6 is respectable. I have to, to move the knight away. Play knight f4. I still want to target f6. And the way to do that could be something like knight h5 and then some eventual... Queen intrusion. At some point, knight f5 as well. Whoa. Thank you for the hours of education oh, you, and entertainment and love from Ireland. I appreciate all the love and support. And thank you for flies. Hi, Eric. 
Are you friends with any of the other chess streamers you play on here in real life? Oh, definitely. Oh, in real life. Yeah, definitely. I'm friends with... I feel like most streamers I've at least met before in real life. Wait, let me focus here. I have this move. Yeah, let's play b4. Forcing the bishop to basically trade, and then I'll get a nice pawn center. Knight has to retreat. I mean, first of all, I'm I'm technically roommates with chess bras. Uh, we're friendly. Share a place in St. Louis, even though even though they're more based in Canada. Uh, yeah, friends with with Ray. I mean, Ray, Robson, Irene, um, basically anyone who attended Webster University, uh, Chessweeb. Um, a lot of a lot of grandmasters who study in St. Louis. Neroditsky, yeah, played ping pong with Neroditsky in Georgia a couple years ago. Levy, of course, yeah. I stayed at Levy's place in New York just over a year ago. Fabi. Fabi doesn't really stream, but we did. I think when I first moved to St. Louis, we were both on the chess bra stream. There's some video on YouTube where he was playing blindfold chess. I was making the moves. We were playing from this setup too. Okay, let's take the pawn. I'm trying to show no mercy this game. So I'm up a pawn. Not bad for being down a pawn out of the opening. I still probably have to develop like Bring the bishop in, go for a4, a5, or just win on time. Yeah, let's play a4. Ooh, free rook. Or did, did my opponent just, just do an oh no my rook, wanting me to take, and after it takes I get forked. Um, I could take your fur. Ooh. I could also play this first. And there's really no rush. I'll do this first, chasing the queen back to c7. Because everything's covered here. And now I can take the rook. Yeah, life is very good here. There's an idea I want to play bishop a6, but not quite working. Maybe queen here. Oh, there's a cool idea. Involves oh no my knight and oh no my rook. Please play this. I'm going to give more time. Don't resign, don't flag. Ah, I'll show it after the game. There's a really cool idea. It's not going to happen now. Okay, let's go for the ultimate squeeze. I'll take with check. Yeah, it's a nice kind of squeeze formation. I don't mind giving away the rook to get a pawn on c6. Hey, connect five. Oh, maybe I'll try and win connect six. And then it'll be extra YouTube worthy. 
Oh, but if I play this, I potentially lose a pawn. Wait a minute. How do I do this? I have to play this first. Okay, well, I'll, I'll win connect six with my queen. <laughs> okay. That was a fun kind of Belgrade gambit. I can imagine this could be some form of thumbnail. Uh, thank you, followers, for the game. So there, there is a really cool line I wanted to... I, I was hoping to get. Um, it didn't quite pan out, but if we go back to this position oh maybe it, it wouldn't have worked never mind i was thinking d5 i was gonna play queen g3 say oh no my knight and then i was gonna say oh no my rook but this isn't mate because king d7 so hopefully i would have realized that before it was too late um Because like this sort of setup, there, there's all these mating ideas. I guess with the queen here, I, I would need to keep my knight on f6. So if h4... Oh, this still isn't mate, but it would be... Um, it'd still be a nice combination. Because there's, there's queen b7 then takes. Anyway, um, maybe I can provide one, one lesson of more like practical value. When you're black in this position. Hi YouTube, chat big love oh, yeah. from Toggy Imrose and thank you Imrose and her YouTube. Oh hi, hi Toggy. Yeah, YouTube say hi to Toggy and Maria and everyone else who's saying hi. But one last lesson: how to play against the Belgrade. So when White plays this, as far as I know, the best move here it's it's a little bit weird looking. Because it violates a couple opening principles. But the move to play is knight b4. Moving the same piece twice away from the center. The point is we're challenging the knight on d5. And then... Like, whichever knight black take Or whatever, whichever knight white takes... Uh, it'll be completely fine for black. Like, if takes takes, we, uh, we check. And we're up a pawn. This is really good. If takes this way, there's takes. And white can't actually recapture the pawn. If queen d4, we fork. Triple fork. And if knight takes d4, black to move. Black to move and get a winning position. Um, final puzzle. Good job to Gian Mill and Hector Bat and everyone else who's saying queen takes d4 that's a nice tactical pattern oh no my queen but oh no all your pieces got forked and black will be up a knight um so yeah after knight b4 the computer computer proofs i guess this is the main line and then oh yeah if e5 i believe there's queen yeah, queen g6 hitting c2 is nice. Anyway, so this is why the Belgrade isn't popular. But uh, I think it's still like, you can still get away with Belgrade against most players because most people don't know about this move. And then when this happens, yeah, this is really fun. So that will go on YouTube. Um... Thanks, you two people, for watching. Say hi to Tagi. Say hi to Maria and Tio Twaki and everyone else in Twitch chat. Ah.